This is a once in a lifetime exhibit. You'll never see so many significant Volkswagens, historic Volkswagens, drag cars, you name it, everything is here at the, as much as we could get. Hey, you guys, Eddie Collins for Hobby W's Magazine. Here we are at the Grand National Roadster Show, and let me tell you guys, it's not every day, and I was mentioning it yesterday, that you run into people that are very famous, you may not have known about, and let me tell you, this is it right now. You know, when you're talking about the cow look back number one here, and you've seen the cover, this is a gentleman, you guys, Jim, and this is Greg, Greg Aronson. So if you know, you know, Fleming Aronson, right? You know, I mean, hello, you know? So here's here's the crazy part, you guys. Now, Greg, you built the car and when? Well, I, I bought the car in in 67, and I think within a couple of years, I I painted it a couple times, and it was, it was anthracite gray, and then it was metallic brown, and then I decided to do this thing. Everybody was raising their front ends. I lowered the front end. And um, everybody was doing colors, and I did black and white. I don't know. I just had a vision, I guess, and is what I ended up with. Now, I like it. And so then from there, how did Jim end up with it? Um, we actually roommate. We were... Oh, you got a roommate. Okay. Um, so you he came back from right. Vietnam and kind of came back around our club. And he lived about a, less than a mile from my house, and that was kind of the afternoon hangout because I used to do engines in my and transmissions in my parents' garage. So <laughs> it was the hangout, and um, I was kind of over the Volkswagen thing, and I was in the process of buying a Porsche. So that was my transition. I sold the wheels, sold my engine, and then he bought more wheels, bought another engine, or we built it, or whatever we did. <laughs> and so then it was his. And he probably took better care of it and had it longer than I did. Because yeah. that's okay. his MO. All right, so Jim, when did you end up with it then? Uh, I think around 74. It's around 74, okay. And then I had it. No, you got it. More like 70. 70. 71. 71, I got out of the service in 71. Okay, so, so it can't be. So we're still right around, we're trying to figure out the years. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. Bringing it all back. Uh -huh. but, so anyway, uh, somewhere 71, 72, yeah. he got oh. it. Okay. And, it, that's, that's wild. Yeah. And, and what was your plan with it? Well, I wanted to put it back more to original. I had Porsche wheels on it for okay. a while, and, and I had a smaller engine in it, and a 1600. And, and so I eventually I got the BRMs and uh -huh. put it back to original and and tried to make it a little more peppy and uh -huh. and uh so then i crashed it though oh no and i had to uh, uh took the whole front end off of it a guy pulled out in front of me out of a gas station and oh, and no. uh, so so windshield anyway. forward total yeah. front flip oh, oh my god dash and everything oh. all in place well, the plexiglass dash we had to, had to redo. And, uh, <laughs> Greg helped me put it all back. He had the knowledge of the first one, of course, okay. original. So he helped me put it all back together uh, in wow. its original state. And, uh, and had it all painted again. And, and, and there we go. And that is awesome. That is awesome. Had it for a few years. And then uh, Hot VW, J.R. Alden. So J.R. Photographed it. Photographed it. And the we were trying to do the math that it was maybe in 74 that it was actually uh, photographed? Uh, could have been late 74, I think the magazine in 75 actually. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't think I ever had it other than in car shows, pictures in the magazine maybe in car shows. Uh -huh. And I was I was kind of into the racing part of it. Uh, yeah. This car actually went in 
1969. It actually went 1273 at 105 oh, wow. with a 1900. Wow. People can't do that and, today with a 1900. And where was that? At Orange County. It is Orange County. Okay. I had an advantage. I had the underdog transmission with a limited slip. It didn't go that fast with my gearbox in it. Okay. But with the underdog trans and his M&H tires, I went 1273. Wow. Oh, wow. wow. That is awesome. And so then, after you had it, where did it end up? Uh, I sold it to, uh, I lived in Brea, and there was a, a gentleman that worked for his dad in a liquor store down the street. And I've gone in there several times, and he's seen the car, and he really liked it. And he said, hey, have you ever you know, think about selling this? Uh -huh. you know, let me know. I wanted so <laughs> it came to a point, I, I wanted, I, I just got been married for maybe a, not even a year, oh, and no. we needed something a little more, you know, family type car. Uh -huh. So anyway, I I, he, I went to him and he bought it. Uh, Bruno, I can't remember his first name right now. Uh -huh. but, uh, anyway, he bought it, and then it went from there down. Several different people we've heard wow. after the fact. And, wow. Uh, so then I bought a 66 911, which was my family car. After yeah, that. that was the and family really car. Really got practical. Really? <laughs> yeah. Nice. And nice. I still own that today. That, that is unbelievable. And so then from, from that point on, so the car just kind of went AWOL? I mean, what, it, it was gone for a long time, I understand. This car? Yeah. Yeah, it sat for, uh, for years. Okay. Uh, we don't know. Russell Ritchie bought it from a guy in Apple Valley, and I don't know how long he had it. Okay. But that's awesome that it was and still in took, existence. And he took the dash out, he took the deck laid up, deck laid uh, off, all this personal stuff of this car he took off. Wow. Put an aluminum dash on it. And, oh, wow. Unbelievable. Uh, so maybe he didn't know what he had. I don't know. So now, obviously, Russell Ritchie went ahead and, uh, you know, underwent this you know, restoration, which is awesome. What's it like for you guys now to actually walk in and, you know, and see this right here in the forefront? It's pretty amazing. Mine's well, it's definitely a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he has two of my cars. He has Car Baby too. You know? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's got to be pretty wild to just have the memories come rushing back, right? I got a chance to sit at the European bug yet. Oh, very cool. So I went there, uh -huh. and actually, he let me drive it at the uh -huh. drag strip. Yeah, it was a fun. So, yeah, I was there too. Uh, you know? yeah, 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 I had my wife with me, and he sat in uh, well looked at there. How and cool. Had a good time. And, and I think he still owns, doesn't he still own Scott Bakken's reproduction of this car? I think so, yeah. I think so. so he's got wow. two of these. Wow. One, because a guy, how long ago was that? 15 years ago, uh -huh. at least. Wow. A guy, a local guy, kept calling me up and asking me questions because I'm, I'm making a replica of your car. No way. So, what kind of gauge was that? What, what kind of switches did you use? Uh -huh. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. That's a long time ago. That is. <laughs> Well, I, I'm impressed, and I'll tell you guys, seriously, it's, it's an honor to actually be here and talk to you guys about it. And, I mean, it's, it's fun when you guys look at this, and you know, you look at the magazine, you look at the old issues, and to actually be sitting here talking to you guys is, is awesome. So, thank you know, first of all, thank, thank you for that. And also, cool. thank you for your service. I mean, that's so cool to actually, you know, I'm sitting here going, wait a minute, when we got back from Vietnam, I'm like, as soon as I heard that, I'm thinking, this is unbelievable. Also, listening to you say, I was getting out of Volkswagens, and, and when was that, in the late 60s or early 70s? Yeah, right. And I'm like, hey, I was you guys are 2022 20, and you're here. You never got out of them. Well, no, I was in business. 46 years with fat performance. So Only 46 years. That's maybe why I don't do it in my pleasure time anymore. Yeah. You know? Yeah, 46 <laughs> years. Well, you know, what's interesting, and this is really cool, you guys, if you've had the chance to actually uh, meet Ron Fleming and, and now to meet you, you guys have a lot of energy. <laughs> you, so, still. you still do. No, you still do. You still do. It's really cool. I love the vibe, you know? It's, uh, it's, uh, it's definitely fun. It's, very, very cool, you guys. And, I mean, I, I'm stoked. I hear that uh, there might be a photo shoot in the near future here, kind of reliving uh, a certain moment. So, yeah, yeah, more to come, you guys, more cool surprises. So, you guys, thanks for watching and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, so, from Hobby W's and uh, to you guys, thank you so much for thank you. giving us, you know, really cool stories and some fun history to look back on. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Jim Holmes, Greg Aronson, you guys.